So I'm Om Bhatija, a 22 year old Melbourne fellow from BMS and I have lived in Bangalore my entire life. I just graduated from my engineering where I, where I majored in information systems and I'm going to be starting work in August and I'm excited to be here. Okay, so you are a Melton Fellow. When did you apply? For how many years have you been with them? Uh, I, I mean, normally we apply to be Melton Fellows in the, towards the end of our first year of college. So I've been a Melton Fellow for roughly three years now. So what happened through these three years? What wow, you... okay, that's a loaded question because uh, I, I would say actually the height of the past three years has actually been the last year because naturally being a host campus of the GCC, organizing so many things involves a lot. And for me, uh, what I value most in the foundation is the friendships I've made. So the thing is, uh, I, 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 don't even I don't even connect to my college friends as strongly as I do to my Melton friends. I mean, it's come to the point where I don't call them my Melton friends anymore, they're just my friends. And uh, that for me is what's really happened over the past three years. And uh, and honestly, like every time there's an event coming up, like in the foundation, I look forward to it because it gives me a chance to spend more time with with the BMS campus or interact with other people, and so that just brings us closer. And because of the GCC, that's happened a lot more. We've been spending so much time together that I've gotten to know everyone on my campus a lot more. And this year around the GCC, I mean, being the oldest batch, I mean, at least in the junior fellows. It really helps because you know everyone around, and it's it's less overwhelming and it's easier to go and just go up and talk to people, and so I've gotten to know a lot of people a lot better. Okay, so the conference this year it's about I mean last year it was the same thing about uh, global citizenship. What does it mean to you? Uh, what is a global citizen? Okay, so I've been asked this question a lot of times by a lot of people, and my definition of it has come has basically evolved into something along the lines of uh, it's basically it's, 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 it's like a way of thinking it's like it's like a like a bent of mind global citizenship isn't something you practice it's not something you do I just think it's something you are as opposed to anything else so for instance a global citizen is someone who's capable of realizing and understanding the implication of his actions who's capable of empathizing with people he can't even see or understand, who's capable of like crossing barriers that, barriers of, barriers of you know, like nationality, who, who, who is actually for me, yeah, I guess this is it, who is able to look past the fact that someone is from a different region or a different place and connect to them at a human level. Because this is something I made the mistake of doing several times, like at my OM, the orientation meeting, at my first symposium, I made the mistake of you know trying to identify the differences, so to speak. Like I used to always look at people from Germany and be like, hey, this is how it happens in India, how does it happen to you? And my experience for the first year was that I just couldn't connect to that many people. But something happened and someone told me that, you know, you should just stop looking at it that way. That's not what it's about. It's not about finding the differences. It's about realizing that despite the differences, you're all human beings. I mean, everyone feels so many things like, Everyone has angst, everyone has, uh, everyone feels pain, everyone has joys, everyone has passions, everyone has things that get them excited. So for me, a global citizen is someone who's really able to just look past differences and, you know, just find that human connect. And that's, that's something I think I've really learned to do because the nature of my interactions with people has changed so drastically over the past three years. And that's something I can, I, I very, very strongly feel.